Hi, this is Edward Mendoza, and today I just want to talk a little bit about how OMS CS can be an education through isolation. So, more on that in a little bit. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. Hi everyone, this is a video that I've been kind of um, not sure exactly how to tackle, but I just thought I'll just jump right into it because this has really been my biggest problem with, um, with this program. And there's really no perfect fit um, sure, there might be newer technologies that are, are being used that uh, make this whole situation a little bit more livable, but I just have to be completely frank. Um, this degree has been the most isolating, the most lonely experience that I've ever had in my, um, in my life as far as education goes. From different, you know, changing different schools to lots of different colleges and universities that, I, that I've been to. Um, Education has always been the most social environment I've ever experienced in life, right? Because you get out there, you're working in an office environment and it's almost like everybody's kind of working against you. It's, it's so strange that you'll meet the same people in a college setting and everybody's friendly, everybody's in this, you know, we're in this together kind of environment. And then as soon as you get into the office space, it's like people that you probably, you know, would have gotten along with in a, um, at the university, it's like everybody's trying to get each other's jobs. It's just all this, this whole politics. Uh, um, the office politics is just something I've always hated about having a day job. That's one of the things that I hated the most about having a day job. It's it's not just dealing with uh, bosses that have just have not been very positive uh, influences. It's also been the whole political system where it's like everybody's backstabbing you. You, you don't know who's really a friend or, or, or not. And I mean, for what? It's like, if, if at the end of the day, we're all just gonna be moving on to other projects, other other jobs, what's the point of it? But that's just the reality. It's not like it's something that, that I'm, that I'm, uh, that anybody really wants to, uh, to be experiencing, but at least you had the college experience, right? Which is why I also recommend, if you've never been to a, you know, an actual campus doing everything online, has that biggest drawbacks. It's like the, the greatest influences in my life, the best friendships that I've made, the best connections I've made from business to just life lessons to somebody recommended. I mean, everything I do today from being an entrepreneur to traveling around, it's every major recommendation I've had that really changed my life came from people that I met in college that in any other environment, I wouldn't even have been friends with them. So. Um, another great example is it's like I've been going to salsa clubs for so many years. I've been teaching salsa. Teaching is different. That, that's a, a different environment altogether. But as far as just going to uh, um, salsa clubs, I haven't made a single friend <laughs> in all the years that I've been going to salsa clubs. It's, 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 it's almost like that same competitive environment. When I was first starting, there'd be other guys that would be friendly and yeah, I'm learning too. And it, it was that kind of but then the better you get, the more isolated it becomes. It really kind of, every guy kind of looks at you like you're like some like threat. You can walk and talk to people and it's just not the same. Now again, I'm just talking about as, as a guy. For women, it's the complete opposite experience. But as, as, as a guy, it's, um, it's, it's much harder for us to go into certain environments where you're making friends and people are, are, uh, are opening up in, in, uh, in that way, whereas in college, that's really why to go, right? So it's like, that's the one area that I honestly thought, if I do a, an online master's degree, because I take a couple of certificates, I've taken some courses online um, that, uh, that I already had, you know, experienced that kind, of, uh, that kind of isolation, right? But I really did think, we're at a master's degree, you're gonna meet really, I mean, some of the brightest minds on the planet, you know, in, in, in this tech field, you're meeting people that are just as passionate uh, um, as you are in this part in this particular area. I thought every semester it's like, wow, by the time I'm done with this, I'll have a like a rack of 
Not one friend, guys. I've been in this for like two and a half years. Every person that I've met had great intentions. They all said the same thing. You know, it's like this, this is such an isolating experience. We should, you know, be friends after class. After class, nobody talks to you. So it's not as bad as like the office environment where it's like people are just trying to get your job or they'll kind of rat you out to uh, your supervisor. Hey, this guy's late, you know, trying to get you, you know, fired or something. It's not that kind of environment. I haven't noticed that. It's, it's still the camaraderie of it. But um, first off, when you're first starting, if you're not really there to help out and you really know your stuff, a lot of people just don't even answer your, your posts and really all you have is the is um, posting on piazza like that's the only kind of public forum you're going to have and a lot of times if you're asking the simple questions nobody even answers i mean a lot of times not even the professors will answer some of your questions right if they really see it's like it's almost like they just assume oh he's just going to drop or he's he's not going to make it through the program anyway why bother right so if you if you're a noob you're kind of screwed it it's i've seen that with uh so many of the other students too. It's like, you can tell if people are just starting, people just don't even answer their, 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 their posts. But think about it, even if you do, even if you have good rapport, right? And some of these classes, it's like, well, I you know, know quite a bit more than the other students. So it's like, I was the one that were kind of answering other people's questions and I would ask more generic questions. It really didn't even have that much to do with the, uh, the homework, because I, I didn't have a problem with the homework. It was more just general, is this the way, you know, um, the professors want it for, um, this particular assignment kind of a deal. But um, what I noticed that was just such a huge difference was even though I'll have that kind of reaction, think about it, it's, it's just text, right? You're literally just seeing lines of text. You can't connect with anyone that way. I mean, I know just by being on here and talking to people directly and just answering a couple of you know questions people might have, I'll probably make better connections this way and just a free video platform like this is um, then all the years that I'll spend combined in Georgia Tech. If I make one or two friends, I'll be amazed because nobody lasts. I mean, even getting a response from professors most of the times won't even work. Now, I don't want to get into specifics, but it's like there's certain emails I'm like asking for help, nothing. So I learned pretty early on that this was a very, very isolating kind of uh, environment and for those that think, wow, you're gonna meet the next, you know, developer of, you know, of the next big thing, or maybe I'll meet the, uh, you, you know, the, um, maybe I'll meet a, a Zuckerberg, you know, and they no, you you might see that somebody has a lot of talent, is gonna go somewhere, but they're not gonna talk to you, <laughs> right? Because you have to be at that level also, and at that realm, maybe it is more of a competition thing. I I don't really know. All I know for a fact, everyone I've talked to that has been through this uh, course has all said the same thing. It's like, you know, it's so sad, but it's like you go for your undergraduate. If you're in front of other people, if you're talking to other people, you make strong connections. And in here, I think the other huge component of this is people that are just on board for semester two realize it's too much and they just drop out. I, maybe they weren't really thinking about you making other business connections anyway. I mean, there's a lot of people that think, oh, I want to get into AI. They really see what the... Uh, what, what developing you know these kind of algorithms is about and they just kind of jump out or they're like oh, okay it's not for me so i mean i understand that because you know if, if you're not really the, as invested in this field as other people i get it um but the other component of it is if if you're on the uh, on campus uh part um i mean sorry if uh if, if you're going to the to the actual university and you're just taking like you're taking OMS uh, CS online, but then you're actually at the university meeting some other people. That that'll be different because it, it's that person, you know, the person contact. Just doing the video kind of thing because it's like, oh, well, now with Zoom and lots of people can connect. Yeah, and then the semester's over and that's it. You're not gonna make friends doing this. It's like if I, I think it would be different if you're in a city where there's other people, and I know that's also been something that definitely went against uh, my plans of traveling, right? Because I've been traveling so much. It's like I have, there's only one person I met that was, uh, I was in in, uh, in Bangkok at, at the time. There was one other person and he was kind of busy and I could tell in that semester, it's like, I, I don't even think I'm going to be meeting up with this, with this guy. And then as soon as that semester was over, never heard from him again. And he was in the same state. Now, of course, that's only one case. But I mean, if you're living in LA, you're living in San Fran, if you're li living in Dallas, you're going to be, 
at least exposed to more people. If you do like you know, one of these study groups, which they don't recommend because they're so paranoid that you know people are going to be cheating off of each other. Um, that's going to be the only time that you're actually going to make actual connections. So if, if you're lucky enough that you're in a big city where there's other people going and um, taking your class at the same time, then what I'm saying might not, not, not be as relevant. But it's been my experience just doing the online method. And I've talked to other guys that are in other countries, right? There was uh, this guy from, um, I, think, um, I think he was living in India at, at the time. Um, other guy from England, another guy actually from Spain. Other people that aren't in America, in one of these major cities, none of us have made any connections. So <laughs> if you're going for this degree thinking, I'm going to be meeting amazing people, I'm gonna get so much out of it, it's like, no you're not. Chances are extremely high that you're not gonna make a single soul friend from this. It's gonna be the most lonely, isolating experience you're gonna have. You're gonna be slamming your head against the wall because People won't even respond to some of your questions if they, you know, deem it just un uh, um, not up to uh, up to the level. So that's why the first couple semesters were brutal because, like, even having people answering on Piazza became such a big deal. So, no, for me, my saving grace was I was traveling. I was meeting so many people in other other ways, and you know, back to salsa. Well, you know, just go to a salsa club and you'll meet some people there. But it's it wasn't the environment that I was expecting at all. Um, and then the more semesters I went, I've been through the, uh, this, this, uh, this program, the more I realized that's just the way it is. It's most people are going to have this exact experience as, as I'm having. So, I mean, it's, it's sad because for me, it's like, if you would have that component, this entire degree, it would be like a no brainer. But I mean, think of it from, from the, from the university standpoint too. It's like, they also want to, an incentive for people to pay seven to eight times more and go to their their campus, right? It's like, it, it, it makes sense that things are set up in, in that certain way. But again, if you need that, you know, community, if you need people to help out, if you just want to make great connections that can really change your life in a positive direction, I recommend against, <laughs> completely against OMSES or any kind of online degree for that reason. The only uh, case that I, that I would say it's like might work, I don't know, has not been my experience, but the only, situation I've heard it's a little bit different is if you're one of these big cities and you can go in to these kind of group studies and meet people that live in your city maybe then it would be different it would be great if somebody else would uh would talk about their experience maybe somebody else in the program that has had good experiences but my experience has been the most isolating experience I've ever had um with this program and that's helped me also I'll talk about that in a in a, in a different video so it, it has helped me become a much, much better uh, programmer. So in that sense, I mean, every everything's kind of like a balance. So again, where are you at in your life? What is that you want to do? Uh, what environment are you comfortable with? So where, for where I was at, for how much money I wanted to spend, for what I wanted to do, for how I wanted to travel, this was perfect. But just realize, if you're thinking you can save a lot of money, travel around, and then still make great connections, it's just not gonna happen. So yeah, you have to pick the, you know, the pieces that are most important to you. So hope that helps and um, yeah, uh, give me some comments down, um, down the video if um, any of you guys have had any different experiences than I or most of the people that I've met and talked about the situation have had. So anyway.